So my name is Mackenzie. Um, I'm a freshman here at Asbury. Um, my hometown is Seattle, Washington, and um, I'm studying marketing here at Asbury. I think it's okay to describe this as undescribable. Um, the feelings that people are having here at Asbury um, are because the Lord is working in tremendous ways. Um, I know a lot of people have heard what's going on and how this all started, um, but for me, I think God is meeting a lot of students and young adults in places where it's really dark and it's really hard to get out of, and God is just plucking them, pulling them up, and loving them. And a lot of people are feeling that love and feeling his presence of peace. Um, and we just want to spread that. So I think that's what's what's happening here on campus. I think the Lord is saying a lot um, to me right now. At the beginning of this all, I was a little conflicted um, with what was happening. I was a little skeptical of if God was actually here and if he was actually moving. And through this time, God has shown me and talked to me in ways that I could never express. But one, one way I can try to express it is that with all my skepticism built out about what was happening at this revival, um, it just, one thing that I can say that God is saying to me right now is that in the midst of all of your worries, all of your anxiety, in the midst of all your questions, I love you. I think that's what God keeps saying to me. And he keeps saying, focus on me. Focus on what I'm doing. Focus on me. And that has been a reoccurring thing that he's been saying to me. As when I went into the space, I felt that I couldn't focus. And because I had all this worry and anxiety and skepticism built up, that I couldn't focus on what God was doing. But it wasn't until I got into that space and focused on him and only him is when he started to actually, where I actually started to hear what he was saying. And um, I think that people in this place are finding healing with their questions. They have a lot of questions and I think they're, they're getting them answered in multiple ways, but it's, it's encouraging to see. I was worried that what was happening here on campus wasn't of the Lord. And I prayed a lot about that within the first couple of days. And I was kind of angry at God. I was like, if all these people are feeling something in the chapel, why am I not feeling anything? What am I doing wrong, God? And I was having all these questions um, to God about what am I doing wrong, you know? And I think the moment that changed is when, like I said, I focused on God and who he was because I was so worried about everything else and everything around me that was happening that it couldn't give me the time to just have a conversation with God and talk to him about it. So when I went into that space, um, I started praying like, God, just show me what you want me to hear. Tell me what you want me to hear move me in some kind of way. I want to feel what everybody else is feeling. And I went to the altar and I just started to pray. And I was like, God, please, please just work in my life like you are in everybody else's. And my legs, I don't know how to describe it, but my legs felt glued to the floor. Like I couldn't get up. And that was the point where I was like, okay, God, you're, you're picking me up and you're putting me right here just to have this conversation with you. And that was kind of my realization where I was like, okay, God, you're working, you're talking now. And when I started to worship and when I just started to pray and just lay everything out is when I felt that peace that everybody was talking about. I was like, wow, this, this is what I've been wanting. This is the God that I've been wanting to speak to. This is 
the love that I've been wanting to feel and I have it and I can't deny that so after that I, I had a lot of friends around me who had the same like beliefs of like skepticism like that I did at the beginning of this and as soon as I had that encounter with God in that moment with God I, I couldn't keep that to myself and I started to like talk to my friends about it and I and just like just telling them what I felt because even when I say my story sometimes people don't pick up on it and that's okay because it touches people in different ways but as the more you talk about what's happening the more people are going to want to be here and I think that's why this has grown so much is because people want to be here and want to feel what like I felt in a sense and want to feel what God is doing in their life and so I think that God meets us where we are but it takes us to block out everything else and everyone else come first.